Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Andrew, and this is the AWS tutorial series on Elastic Beanstalk Setup and Deployment. In this tutorial series, I'm going to walk you through creating a basic application um, in Elastic Beanstalk, and then I'm going to show you how to deploy changes to it from a staging server using the Elastic Beanstalk command line interface. All right, so let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to the top right and click Create New Application. Um, we're going to give our application a name. We'll go ahead and click Next. We have a few environment variables to set. One, we're going to set our tier. We're going to select Web Server because we're going to be deploying a PHP application. But Worker does things like processes, SQS, um, queues, and things like that. Um, but for this, we're going to select Web Server. Since we'll be doing PHP, we're going to select PHP. And we're going to give it an environment type of load balancing. This will do all the auto scaling for you depending on how you set up your environment. We're going to leave the sample application for now. And we can leave the percentage at 30%. Um, basically what this does is let's say you had uh, 10 servers within um, your Elastic Beanstalk application and you go to do a deployment. It won't deploy to all 100% of your servers right away because that could result in downtime, so what it'll do is it'll do sort of a rolling deployment. And we can leave this at 30%, it really doesn't matter um, because we're only going to have one server. So we'll go ahead and click Next. Uh, we can leave these how they are, we're going to check availability real quick, looks like everything's good. Um, you can also add additional resources, um, such as an RDS database server. Um, for this demo, we won't really need that, but it, all it's going to do is add in one more extra step over here on the left to sort of fill in some database variables. Um, and it'll automatically launch those servers and monitor them for you. Okay, we can leave the instance type at T1 micro um, because this is just a demo. We don't really need to launch anything too big. I've already created an SSH key pair here, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Um, some of these are optional. You could set uh, the email address so you know when there's changes to your environment, application health check URL, enable rolling updates, there's all sorts of things to, uh, to select here but we can leave everything here as default and we'll leave the root volume here as the default as well so you can change the size of the root volume, you can do all sorts of stuff. So Go ahead and click next, environment tags we can leave blank and then just the review and we're gonna go ahead and launch our application. And so what this is going to do is it's going to go through, take all of our settings, launch a server for us, and deploy their sample application. Okay, so our Elastic Beanstalk application is now ready to view. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to this uh, EB URL that they gave us. And we can see that we've got a basic PHP application running. So this is the default that, um, that they come with. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into that staging box that I told you about and we're going to deploy our own application using the Elastic Beanstalk command line interface. So I've gone ahead and I've already launched a server. This is just an Ubuntu server and what we're going to do is we're going to log in here, install all the things we need to install and then we're going to deploy our first app. So I'm already inside the application um, and there's a couple things we're going to need to install. Um, you should already have Python installed on your server, um, and if you don't, make sure you do. Um, so we're going to need to use pip, and we're going to use pip to install um, the Elastic Beanstalk command line interface. So what we're going to do is we're going to say at get install python pip. Okay, so now that's installed, we're going to uh, use pip to install the AWS EB CLI. and that installs pretty fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to make um, we're going to make a directory called AWS tutorial series. And all we're going to do is we're going to um, create an index.php file and we're going to let's nano that real quick and we'll say echo hello world. Great, and so now that we have the eb command installed, um, we're going to do eb init. And it's going to walk us through a couple different things. It's going to want to know what region you're in. It's going to want to know what application you want to deploy to. 
um, and your uh, access and secret key um, to Amazon so it can do the deployments. So since setting up the EV CLI um, shows the access and secret key, I went ahead and typed that all in. It was just a couple steps, um, so you should be fine there. Um, but now that we're in the AWS tutorial series folder, um, if we list this out, we can see that we have um, that simple index.php file, and we can see that all it's going to do is uh, echo out hello world. So before we do that, let's just double check. Let's go back to our Elastic Beanstalk application. We can see that we got the congratulations. So now all we're going to do is we're going to say EB deploy. And this is great. So what this is going to do is it's going to take this folder and it's going to deploy it out to our servers. So if we go over here, go ahead and click refresh, we can see that um, our servers are now getting updated. In just a few minutes, we'll be able to reload our page and see our echo hello world. All right, so it looks like our environment has been updated successfully. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to where this sample PHP application is. We're going to go ahead and click refresh. And we can see that we've got our hello world. So that's using the Elastic Beanstalk command line interface to do deployments out to um, your application. So the next thing that I want to show you is kind of just the basic overview of when your application is running, kind of the, the details and the things that you can conf configure. So on the left hand side we've got uh, the configuration and this will show you um, your web tier. You can edit all of these different scaling um, parameters and the software configuration. There's, there's all sorts of stuff you can change depending on how you want your environment to get set up. Um, you have your networking tier and right now the data tier is blank because we haven't created a database server, but we can do the exact same thing and create our own RDS database. Um, so it's very, very cool and very powerful. Um, we have logs that we can set up um, that we can monitor. So if we want to um, request the last 100 lines of logs from our servers, we can do that. Um, and we can download them here. Um, if we go to the monitoring tool, we can see just an overview of our application stack and kind of see how things are going. We can set up alarms, events, um, and there's uh, just the normal um, AWS tags that you can set up. So that's pretty much a basic overview of Elastic Beanstalk. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, please leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. All right, thank you so much for watching.